Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome, welcome, welcome back to another Thursday, which means it's time for another Nas watches the Arpeggio of Blue Steel. Oh boy. So, in the last episode, uh, fucking Takeo fucking died. They killed the boat. They killed the thirst boat. I can't believe it. Uh, but, uh, yeah, a bit, a bit, it was a pretty cool episode, honestly, even with all the boats dying. Them dis discovering their, their capacity for empathy and care for others. And then Takeo and Iona, uh, each fucking dying. And then Takeo bringing Iona back by sacrificing herself and turning Iona into a super submarine. So, I mean, hey, that works. I mean, I, I don't think that if you took a battleship and com com that combined it with a fucking submarine, you'd get something that would really work. But I guess it works in anime land, I guess. Fuck it. I'll, I'll, I'll allow it. But let's get in here uh, and see how we do. Because we are on, what is it, like episode 11? Yeah, episode 11. We got, like, was it like two more episodes? One more episode? I, I don't remember how many episodes there are in this series. I, I think it's two more, but it might be one more. I'm not sure. I don't remember. I think it's two more. But let's see how we do and see how Congo gets out of her imprisonment to become a threat again. Which maybe she will hopefully do, unless they're just kind of tucking her away. In three, two, one, and go. Like, I'm hoping that, that Congo just doesn't become just like, oh yeah, no, I'm just tucked away in the back, you'll never see me again. You know, keep stay tuned for the season two, we're never gonna get fuckos. God, look, it's just a fucking super submarine, dude. It's a super submarine with a top deck that looks like a fucking... Uh... You know what would be fucking hilarious? What if Iona's, like, mental model changed? What if she took on some aspects... What if she took on some aspects of, uh, of Takeo? Like her, like, blue hair or something? Ours? No... Okay, what is Ars Nova mode? <laughs> I mean, first off, it's really fucking cool that they have, like, a whole new command bridge that looks baller as fuck. But also... Nani? Multi-wave drifting? It wouldn't be a Japanese anime if it didn't have fucking drifting in it, would it? The Graviton Chamber is talking about holding hands! It's a massive degenerate! They're just strafing the, cru the enemy cruisers with the gravity cannon. Are you f- See, at what point does this stop being a war crime and start being a... Man, I'm actually impressed you managed that. Well done. Like, like there has to be a moment where, like, a war crime stops being a war crime and starts being a... Man, I'm actually... Aurora Borealis. Go to jail. Go to jail. I can't believe Maki gets his share too. Fucking the fucking the fucking child with super leukemia gets to have a fucking chair on the bridge. What are these dinky little submarines gonna do? Like, straight up, what is, what are, what is I-400 and I-402? What are they gonna do? Like, you know, like, like, there is nothing that they can do. Like, Iona is literally twice their fucking size. She has the power of a battleship and a submarine. Like, added. Like, I'm assuming it's, 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 it's it, like, you know, additive instead of multiplicative or exponential. Because if it was exponential, then that'd be... Fucked. And also wouldn't make that much sense, but... Hey, anime has had weirder power scaling. 
God. So I know this is something that would be difficult for them to do, but it would be cool if in the opening they replaced um they re they replaced the the shots of 401 with the new super 401. Like you know, like it like I mean it mostly just be switching out models and they'd have to they and they'd probably have to fuck around with the with the bridge shot a little bit, but it'd be cool, you know. Show a little bit of progression. Change nothing. I mean, it's all 3D models, right? I mean, all you gotta do is switch out the model. And maybe move the camera around a little bit to adjust for the size. So, what is what is Ars Nova mode? Is it just like a super speed mode that they've got? Because I don't think that... that that's sort of... Uh... Yeah, that's, that's kind of some darker than black shit right there, dog, where you're just saying something without telling me what the fuck's going on. I want Takeo's ghost to show up and start sexually harassing Ch Chihaya. Oh shit! They've still got her fucking union core. Stop bullying Takeo. <laughs> she She rescued the submarine lolly. Uh all right. Man, I love when I say something and it just fucking happens. Go to prophecy. My stand has returned. Korewa requiemda. Was it though? Was it though? Man, we're back to the government. Oh boy, I wonder how they're gonna be antagonistic and just be completely ineffectual and just all around kind of shitty. What? The head of the army being a megalomaniacal asshole and attempting a coup against the government? No. No. So how the fuck are they gonna resupply in Hawaii? Is Hawaii, Hawaii is not gonna have like fucking nanomaterials, is it? I guess the question is, is will the will the Japanese fog will they will they back off when they enter into the American fog's jurisdiction, or will they or will we get infighting? I want the American fog to just be, like, cowboy as fuck. I want to see an anime girl wearing a cowboy hat and fucking dungarees just being like, Yeehaw! Get him, boys! And they're just mental models riding on torpedoes with lassos. I mean, don't you have depth charges? You can probably make them back the fuck up a little bit, at the very least. Iona, we're going to fucking commit fratricide. Actually, but it's fratricide if you kill your brother, right? Usually, I mean, it's it's meant to be like killing siblings, but the but the l like the root Latin word is frat is brother, right? 
I need sorori 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 something for, for sister, right? So wouldn't it be sororicide for sisters? My Latin is very bad. She's put on some weight that she wants to throw around. <laughs> she might infect us with the lust for human dick. We need to stop. It would be funny. It would be absolutely fucking hilarious if it, if it turns out this empathy was just a virus. The biggest computer virus of all. Empathy. Oh, did, what, did the fucking communication room not have fucking trees before? Looks pretty much the same as it did before. Who created you? Like, that's the real question. Like, you can't ask someone who created them if you don't know who created you. Oh, uh, that, hmm. If she wasn't a submarine, that would be, uh, go to jail, Gunzo. Man, sure is good that all these Japanese shows with the questionably aged girls are just submarines, right? Fucking Christ, Japan. Because you don't have the empathy, dog. You gotta get some of that empathy in you. Just get that empathy injected directly inside. You'll catch, you'll catch the empathy. Like, I, I kind of find it fucking hilarious they're just treating her like a leper. Like, that's just kind of, I don't know, I find that kind of funny. Come on, Congo, we need you out here to be the actual antagonist. Or to be the sudden hero heel turn. Or face turn. I feel like they left Maya there to fucking torture her. Just leave her in a loop. So she does so if she died, she would just die for real. Well shit. Holy shit! Just fucking eat the bitch! God damn! Alright, Congo get an upgrade by eating the other- Oh my god. But if Maya doesn't have a union core, how does that work? I thought the whole thing was that you few- Oh wait, no. Wait, Takeo doesn't have a union core. Sorry, Takeo's union core is still ex- Yeah, okay. So basically, it'd be like Takeo, except Maya won't be, won't be inside Congo at all. Like the only reason Takeo's personality remains inside 401 is, is because her union core is just in a closet in the back somewhere, so she can just interface with the computers. 
I answered my own fucking question. God, imagine, imagine if Maya, like, fucking Maya starts influencing Takeo, like, through just the broken programming she has. Congo just, like, gains Tourette's, and she's just like, Carnival, Dio! They have different colors, idiots. I wouldn't be surprised. And they've got multiple mental models on board. I mean, how nice of Iona to, to lend some extra nanomaterials to the other mental models, huh? So... Just standing on Maki's head. So. Go to jail. So do the decoys have, like, any weapons on board? That's the real question. Like... How functional can they be? Because, I mean, there's something to be said for being able to have- to be able to have multiple firing platforms. Oh, is she just gonna fly her submarine- fly her submarine- sail her submarine directly into them? Like... Man, I sure hope she only had that one torpedo in there. Because they've only got a limited number of those things. It fucking... It didn't even do anything. Like, how can it be so close when it barely fucking did anything? Imagine if all of a sudden they lurched forward because there was a surprise attack and Iona just took a sip of tea and be like, Well, alright, I guess you're going to boat hell then. Like, th this seems like the easiest, like, way to, like, distract your opponent. Get them, get them in there and talking, and then while they're talking, just do 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 Gut punch them. Or whatever the equivalent of that on a boat would be. And Sonic Torpedoes... She made a little squeaky noise. It's great. Sonic Torpedoes sound like the most, like, broken thing to use in the submarine fight. Just fucking... Just fucking, like, just... Nah. Nice... Nice try having Sonar, idiot. Iona now has to accept the fact that she must commit homicide. Damn, I can't believe 402 is fucking dead.
Damn 401. Oh no, she's been infected with empathy. Oh god, oh shit. How dare you infect me with empathy, 401? You got you got me killed trying to protect my friend. No. Man, isn't it great how an anime, like whenever you're facing an, a non-empathetic villain, the moment they get empathy, they fucking die. When whenever the protagonist uses empathy, they it always is to their benefit and they succeed. Amazing, right? Damn, someone's angry about their sister's death. It's almost as if she's got some some sort of empathetic reaction. Damn, gamer. <laughs> they caught her in a net! They caught a submarine in a fishing net! Oh my god, dude. Damn 402. <laughs> well done. You sacrificed yourself yourself for nothing. Are they gonna go and rescue 402? Is that gonna be what it is? No, okay, they did. They won't. All right, because that would be that would be a thing I would expect, and it would be stupid as fuck. Because you can't have you, you can't have you can't pull doubles on the on the submarine waifu gotcha. You can't be doing that. You already got one submarine. Um, it's gonna is it gonna be the Americans or Oh no, it's the American fog So the American fog all named themselves after after states. Man, what's the what's the what's the English fog like? Hello, my name's Essex. How you doing? Hello. My name's Whitechapel. How you doing? Hello, my name's Birmingham. Hello, my name's London. No one likes me. Jesus, fucking damn! Congo is Congo is like nah. Congo about ready to betray the fog so long as she gets to kill Iona. But like, what's your plan after that, Congo? You gonna just like you can't go back after you betray him? Goddamn! Oh boy, cat! Why do you shed so much? God damn! Like I, I did like one little sh and just like a bunch of hair just come up. Oh boy, um, that was a fun episode. I love submarine fights. Like it's not as like flashy as like uh, as like like a fucking like a like your standard shonen fight. But that was pretty neat. Um, 
God, man, the fucking like four four hundred and four oh two. Oh boy, they just they just they went out like nothing, huh? I, I guess that's what happens when you have uh, ships that have zero um, zero empath like empathy. You know, like like Congo has emotions. Takeo had emotions. Like most of the ships they've killed so far had some ga gained some level of emotion through the fight. 400, 402, they got nothing. They were just like, nah. Nah, chief. I'm gonna stay. I'm gonna stay my my soulless, emotionless piece of shit. You had that one thing when 402, um, when 402 took the bullet for 400, but other than that, like, no, the whole way through, like, that's spooky as shit, dude. Like, I will say it was a little, like, if every single ship was like that, it would be, um, it would get a little old, I think, and it would, like, lose its impact. But the fact that that's the first ship so far that have just been like, well done, you killed us. I'm not angry about this. I'm not happy about this. I am neutral to this, as emotions are for cowards. Like, if, if they keep doing it, if every ship was like it, that'd be, that'd be lame. But, like, it's, it's just kind of chilling a little bit. Because Iona's, like, there crying her eyes out, like, No, my sisters! No! And she's like, We're boats, idiot. The fuck? Like, I don't know. There's something about that that's kind of pure. I, 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 th I, I think that's pretty neat. Um, really hope it doesn't become the standard. Like, I hope that like the the ships they, the ships they fight from here from here out are, are more. I mean, like I mean, I'm, Congo is gonna be the next the ship they fucking fight for the finale. Like, I, I feel like I feel that one in my bones. And we've already established she is emotionally invested as she fucking can be. So. Real big, real big into that one. Um, the the fight in this episode is uh, I, I I think it's really neat. Um, I I do like how that they they have multiple mental models on board. They've got multiple. Uh, they got you know they got a full human crew. They've got Kirishima and Harano and even Takeo and Hyuga's there. And they're using all that extra processing power to their advantage. They got this big super submarine, but they've got like fucking uh one, two, three, four, five. They got five they got five boats worth of processing power to work with. So like it unlike like earlier on where it felt like our boys were winning through a lot of luck, here it really did feel like they were going against an enemy that they could have lost to. But our boys had an advantage, and they had control. Like, it, 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 it is no longer them surviving. It is them fighting and winning, you know? Like, it, 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 it's, it's neat. And, like, and, and, and Gunzo's fighting style has not changed. It is still very much, hey, I'm going to try this thing that no sane human being would ever try. Let's see if it works. But now it's kind of backed up. It's like... Gunzo, no! You can't do make this submarine do a barrel roll and flip through the air and fly 20 feet over this island. You can't jump the shark pit. And Gunzo's like, yeah, I can't. Watch this. <sighs> okay, there. how the fuck did that work? There's no way the submarine should have been able to do that. Now it's more... Alright, I'm gonna shoot the moon. Okay, yeah, I think we have the power to do that. <laughs> you know, like... I don't know. It's, it's a really cool, like change in power dynamic and it and it really works it shows that we're coming towards the end of the series and it shows that our our boys through all their trials and tribulations they have grown stronger and as by working as a team they have they have the resources to do things that should be impossible but honestly it's pretty fucking doable with with what they have to work with so that's that's pretty neat it shows a really cool progression um the use of their munitions and everything they had is is pretty good. Like, like using a fucking fishing net to catch one of the submarines and then just light them up. That's pretty cool. Um, and just Iona just coming to terms with the fact that she does need to shoot, like, people that should be her friends. She does need to shoot them because they are... They are unwilling to like, kind of come to her side like a lot of the other ones have. Like it's a it's a realization. It's really shitty, but it's one that she had to have, and that's really cool the way it's approached. Like, it's so she's not like just like okay, fine, ch -ch -ch murder time. It's like, please don't make me murder you. Like I really don't want to murder you. And then she's like, okay, I'm gonna have to murder you, but I'm not gonna be happy about it. Like I, I don't know. It's a it's a really 
it's a really cool little moment, and it's something that a lot of shows, I imagine, would fuck up, because either it would come across as, no, I will never kill, that's my ninja, my ninja way, or, or it's like, oh, you don't want to be on side, okay, like, you know, like, it's a really bad habit that a lot of, an that a lot of anime just has, where it's just like, either your hero will never kill, or they'll get the, or they'll get the gumption to kill and then never stop. There's no fucking in-between a lot of the times, it feels like. But but when you do get a show that does have the in-between, where your character is able to be like, like, okay, yeah, sure, let's go. Like, but like, not just be gung-ho about it, that's good, you know? Like, even Dragon Ball has this issue, where like, depending on like, what arc you're in, Goku will either be like, okay, yeah, sure, Kamehameha, now you're fucking dead, or, I'm not gonna kill you, you are a existential threat to all of existence, but I'm gonna let you go so you can get stronger so we can fight again and be best friends. Like, I mean, to be fair, if Goku didn't do that, we probably wouldn't have Piccolo or Boo or, like, any of the fucking cool side characters we have, but it's still kind of a fucking problem in context. Um, but yeah, is is good. It's fun. I, I, I like I like this. This, this. this show is really fun, and I like it. Uh, I don't think there's been a bad episode yet. Uh, like I said, I mean, once again, I wish it wasn't CG, because sometimes the CG really shows its fucking age, but, I mean, it's, the CG is good for the time period it came out in, and at least the whole show is CG, so it is at least consistent. Uh, but yeah. Show good. Episode good. Having fun. Real glad this got recommended. So, uh, thank you for watching, everybody. I'm gonna leave this here. Um, remember to like, comment, fair, subscribe, share social media, tell your friends, and hit the share button down below. And let me know what you thought of this episode down there in the comments. Oh, mm, boy. If you want to support the channel, you can always support me on Patreon, which is linked down there in the description. And there's some, and then also on the end card, there's a list of all the people to keep the shop and running. And there's some benefits, but those are all linked on the page. I'm not going to waste your time. Oh, boy. Um, I should be live streaming today. Uh, keep an eye on the channel, and you'll see when the little reminder thingy goes up. And also, we had a new Let's Play start today, a Shadow of Colossus Let's Play, and I've never played that game before, and it's really fun. So give it, give it a look, see if you wanna, if you wanna see that. Oh boy, but yeah. And so as always, I am Nozovix, and I'll see you in the next video. But most of all, you've all become a trash mammal today. Now I'll see you a rounder.